I have a pretty good question over here. Find the difference quotient of g of x. It's a compound function, and f is given and g is go given. So let's do a quick analysis and go about solving this one. The analysis looks something like this. g of x is really, it's a lot easier to deal with if it's written in this way, since g has a form of 4 over x, since whatever it's given in the placement of x, you need to for, follow this g of x. So it's 4 over f of x, and then you, all you have to do is substitute the fx in there. Now, difference quotient says, like, a given a function, uh, q, which is defined by g of x, you need to substitute x plus h for one of the term, and then subtract the q of x, and divide it by the h, the difference is. This is the beginning of a calculus, so um, at this point, if calculus is not on your radar, this does look pretty tedious, but... Um, it does has it does serve its purpose down the road. So for as far as this problem is concerned, now let's do the tedious work of finding what this quotient is. All right. So the solution looks like q of x if it's defined as g of x written in a different way, g of f of x, since g has form of four over whatever is given and for x f of x is given. So substituting in here, I have 4 over x plus 1. Now on a typical exam, this is probably half of the points. So make sure you can do the composite function first. Second half of it is find a different quotient. All I have to do is x plus h. Now notice wherever I had x before, I need to substitute x plus h. The x occupied this function over here, this little spot here. So q of x plus h becomes this chunk whatever it's given, plus 1. The form still forms the same way. Okay, so if it's given x plus h, then I need to substitute it in here. Second term, it's pretty easy. Now from here, um, it's downhill, cross multiply. Basically, I found my common denominator. x plus 1 gets over here <clears throat> because the common denominator and x plus h plus 1 gets over here. That's this chunk over here. Simplify a little bit, and the final answer is minus 4 times this pretty ugly part. But that's what's needed for this problem. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment or share this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.